Hey Divas, welcome or welcome back. It's your girl Keisha here with another video. And today we're gonna be cash stuffing my sinking funds. So if you enjoy sinking funds, cash stuffing, budget with me, any and all things that have to do with your money, then girl, stay right here. All right, Divas, well today we are going to be cash stuffing my sinking funds. If you have been with me on my journey, even starting in January, you know that I started off with about four or five books and now we are down to just two that's because one i hit some of my goals and two mainly two i started prioritizing my sinking funds and savings challenges because what i realized is that i did have lofty goals at the beginning of the new year and in doing that i really was stretching myself too thin so i had to restructure and refocus on the priorities as it relates to my sinking funds and savings challenges and that's what we're going to get into today, girl. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and count and see how much money we're working with today. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 75. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Today we'll be working with $171. So let's go. Okay, let's start with the high priority binder. We're going to start with Amazon. Amazon is empty right now because I just paid my Amazon Prime bill in September. So now we're starting over for uh, 2024. So I'm excited about that. We're going to go ahead and put $11 in here today. Next we have Beauty. I'm going to stuff $20 in there. This is for my daughter to get her hair braided. We are getting our hair braided in a few weeks because um, it's my birthday. I want to get my hair braided. So braids for us last about two months. So if I braid her hair today, well, this month in October, that's going to last it to, through like December during her holiday break. So I'm saving for that time, Okay. Next is Costco. Costco's due this month, and it's actually one hundred and twenty dollars. So I uh, have to do a hundred. I mean, thirty-one more dollars, and I'll hit my goal. So I have a certificate in here for forty-two dollars and ninety cents, and then the difference is. So let's just do some quick math. My bills one twenty. I have $42.90 in there, so I need to have at least $77. 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78. Perfect. So I'm going to go into Costco and pay this in the sometime this month. And then I'll start that one all over again. Next is my HOA for my HOA dues is $900. It's due February of 2024. I'm going to add $40 today. I am still behind technically on this, but I will catch up. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40. 140. Okay. Next one. Sashi, our pet. She is so good on dog food, guys. I have gotten so many deals on um, pet food. I'm going to do $10 for her. I was going to do 20, but I was going to do 20, but I'm going to increase something else. Okay. So now she has $20. Next saving for my Peloton bike. I'm going to add $5. So now we have 20, 40, 45, 50. Girl, we got a way to go, but it all adds up. Next is my Sam's Club card. I think this is due next month in November. I'm going to add $14 to this. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's see what we have. 20, 25, girl. 20, 25, 30, 35. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Sam's Club, I have to check on. I think it's 40 or $50, so we'll see. And next is Travel Docs. 
today I'm gonna stuff $25 and this is actually perfect timing because I need to get my TSA pre-check renewed. 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. And I think it's $80 for a renewal. We'll see. So that's perfect. I'm so glad I have this envelope here. Okay, let's move on to my holiday binder. Okay, so first up is my birthday. My birthday is actually this month in a few weeks. I'm not going to cash stuff. Let's see how much I have in here. I have 51, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 125. This is cool. My husband and my kids always really get me something. But for this, I need a new Cricut. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get myself a new Cricut. Um, my mother and mother-in-law could give me like 20 bucks. They always want to give me something. So, they, you know, there's a lot of sales and stuff going on. So I'll just wait for a good sale. They can each give me like 20, 30 bucks. And I'll have enough to get a new Cricut Extra. Um, I'm going to get the Cricut Extra. So that should be good for that. Halloween, I'm not cash stuffing. I did buy my kids their costume and all of that. I do need to get some candy. Let's see how much I have. 20, 40, 60, 65, 70. So I do have 70 bucks for the Halloween candy. So we'll see how that goes. That better be enough, girl. Okay. Thanksgiving, I am stuffing Thanksgiving, however. I am going to do $30 today. Let's see what we have. 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85 for Thanksgiving, which is good. Christmas. Christmas, I do want to add um, 40 bucks today. Let's see, what we are 50, 70, 90, 100, 105, 110. Okay. $110 there. I do have a Christmas envelope in my savings challenge, but this is for um, like my holiday lights outside my house. Valentine's Day, we're going to do $15. I'm going to do $10. I might put that extra five to Christmas. Let me see. 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Yeah, I'm probably going to go back and add that to Christmas. Okay, next for my twins, I'm going to add $10. I'm going to make change here. So now they have um, 20, 30, 35. And then the same for my husband, I'm going to add $10 here. So now he also has 35. Both of their birthdays are in April. Well, all three of their, their birthdays are in April. And then since Christmas is the big one, I'm gonna go back and add this $15 to Christmas. It's okay, so that's how you just need to adjust on the fly, girl. So now we have 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 15, 20, 25, 125. That feels much better. Well, Diva, today was a quick one. We got straight to it. Again, I really had to streamline my sinking funds and um, savings challenges and all the things to align with what's important to me for the remainder of the year. So I'm very happy with the envelopes I have now. I look forward to restarting in 2024 and some of the other ones, but your girls focus on completing the task at hand. So if this is anything to give you permission to realign, realign your sinking funds and savings challenge, girl, go ahead, girl, take this as that. All right, it's okay to adjust. Adaptability is so key, um, especially when it comes to your finances. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to your girl. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up and talk to your girl. Let me know how things are going for you, where you are now in October in this last quarter of the year. And like always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.